All right, I've got an early morning in the morning tomorrow. Pretty happy with how the bar looks. Just waking up. Just pulled up the anchor. I got a present from Santa. A smooth bar crossing. I've just got to wait for this wind to pick up. Perfect angle. Water pilot's on. On the ocean. I'm on the ocean. Welcome everyone. My name's Sage. I bought this boat for a dollar and spent two weeks restoring it on the slipway, putting in a lot of hard work, blood, sweat and tears, learning a lot along the way. Now I'm living on the ocean and have been for the past two years, sailing up the east coast of Australia, following the whale migration and adventuring into the reef, doing beach cleanups and making videos all along the way. If you're watching this video, hit the subscribe button. Be part of the crew. Join me on this wild adventure of life. Life's worth living and protecting, and that's what I'm here to do. All right, I've got an early morning sunrise start. I'm gonna go to shore and check the Noosa Bar uh, to hopefully leave this river on Christmas day, sail all day through to Double Island Point, and maybe if I'm able to time the tides and get a really good run there, continue on through the Wide Bay Bar I've just been getting the boat ready, getting the engine running good, and unfortunately the Zodiac's still popped. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that at the moment. Just searching for a new one. Just waking up. It looks pretty tame this morning. That's exciting. Oh, there's a few breaking waves. I'm gonna go out the bar. Merry Christmas. Just pulled up the anchor on my own, which was different to what I'm used to. It's pretty much dead on high tide right now. Um, the swell at the bar looks pretty good. I'm gonna set up my little camera on the mast for you guys so you can see us coming out so I don't have to hold the camera and try to steer at the same time. That was so smooth. It's beautiful out here. I got a present from Santa. A smooth bar crossing. I've just got to wait for this wind to pick up. I'm sure it'll come eventually. I'm gonna do a freestyle for you. Call it Double Island Point.
quick change of plans. There are about 200 cars on the beach. I just decided to, to go through the Wide Bay Bar today. And then I'll be going in behind Fraser Island and going through the Great Sandy Straits to meet up with my dad probably tomorrow. Seeing a lot of breaking waves, I'm starting to get a bit nervous. It's quite a treacherous bar, this one. Yeah, it's taken the lives of a few boats. Many boats have capsized uh, crossing this bar. I'm doing it. I'm doing it solo. All right, we've hit the first waypoint. There's some decent sized breaking waves in there. I'm not really trusting these markers that they've given me because it looks like there's breaking waves right where they're sending me. But I'm just going to use it as a gauge and just navigate around any breaking waves that come. Holy moly. I'm hitting eight knots coming in. I'm flying. Uh oh. Woo! 360 degrees around me in about a 500 meter radius. There's breaking waves. All right, I'm just about through. Safely made it through the bar. God, it's an exhilarating one. <laughs> oh, it's not to be mucked around with, that's for sure. We'll try and ride the tide uh, north as much as we can because it's about three quarters uh, incoming. Yeah, and then around sunset, we'll drop the anchor. We'll just get as far as we can today. I just dropped the anchor, um, just arrived. I made it. That was a big day. Sunrise this morning to almost sunset. I'm tired, that's for sure. Anchored here before on my dad's boat, so I've got memories going to this little point as a little kid. Um, so yeah, it's nice to be back here. I'm gonna crack a beer. slowly rising I'm heading for the horizon The tide is pushing me along As I'm hiding from the weather Do you really, really care for me?
love my boat. She's such a beauty. Literally surfing down these waves. She handles so well, at least downwind. I'm just about to come around the corner, what we like to call the birth canal. It's like a channel uh, into Harvey Bay. My dad's just on the other side of the channel. So really excited to see him and um, raft up next to him for the first time as father and son. There's daddy-o, seeing my dad's boat right there and having my own boat right here and us being together. Oh, it's so awesome. Yeah, the top deck looks nice, eh? Yeah, the pool's looking great. It was so good seeing a sail in. Yeah. It's looking, looking great. Yeah, I've been, I've been hitting eight knots all day. Oh, you've been flying. Yeah. Wow. Shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Lucky those davits have been beefed up. Yeah. Hey, good to see you, buddy. You made it. Well done. Yeah. What an effort. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. It took a while. Yeah. The weather didn't allow me for a while. Yeah, yeah, no, I think you made the right decision. So, there's your boat. There's my boat. That's it. So, what did you get up to for Christmas Day? <laughs> yeah, well, I was here by my little loathsome like you. Yeah. And um, my big Christmas splurge, because I haven't done any shopping since Mackay. Yeah. Um, Whereas I thought, oh, I've got some rice crackers in the in the, in the the cupboard. Rice crackers? The rice crackers. Oh, so, so, I raided the right opened the rice crackers and like, there was this little hole in it that some cockroaches was up mostly eating in oh, So when I opened up, it was all stale. So they were oh, all soft and soggy. So, so I fried them up on the hot plate and <laughs> put some jam on it and that was my Christmas sort of wow, treat. So that yeah. is... Sucks, eh? That's a sailor's <laughs> life for you. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm just hanging out for when you're going to crack that bar of chocolate. You should there. see him. He's literally just come down and go, oh, food, food. I know, look, I had a banana, first banana in like two weeks. Oh, mate. You better too. keep your head <laughs> off that chocolate, no, Come Mr. on, let's celebrate. It's Christmas. All right, let's have anything. Let's celebrate. It's so nice being rafted up next to my dad. Honestly, it's something I never thought was going to happen. And now it's happening right now. His boat is a 44 foot catch. I grew up living on that boat uh, pretty much for the past 10 years and now to be next to that boat on my own boat is a bit of a head, a head twist. You know we both have our own homes now. We both are living on the ocean and yeah we, we simply get to take our home to paradise and and enjoy it it's kind of crazy i bought this boat for one dollar the places it's taken me has been incredible like really unforgettable if any of you guys have a dream of going out there and buying a boat even if you don't have a big budget it's totally doable and it's totally something that's achievable and it's totally something that you should go and do so just go out there Follow your passions, follow your dreams, like my dad did, like I have. Um, anything's possible with time, energy, and money. So just don't let anybody hold you back from your dreams. If you're watching this video, hit the subscribe button. Be part of the crew. Join me on this wild adventure of life. Life's worth living and protecting, and that's what I'm here to do.